you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee in a match. Just so wise. Bruce Lee enters the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight, that UFC champion. You ready to fight? Ready. Boy, right, so here we are at the O2 Arena in London, England, and for my money, this is as good a mixed martial arts backdrop as we have. Another capacity crowd on hand, as usual, for the UFC's annual stop here in London. The fans in England love sport. They love competition, and they show up, and they know what they're watching. You better be ready to put on a show when you step foot in the octagon at the O2 Arena. And you better be ready backstage if Leon Edwards is anywhere. Oh, man, let me tell you something. Leon Edwards is the man around here. Lee gets caught with that punch. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Big right hook there by the champ. Got the single collar tie. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Oh, back and forth we go. Fast pace here in the early going. Straight right hand now just misses. And that left hook landed on the button. Looks like Pac-Man, he's taking so many strikes to the head. Man, his sidekick is just killer. You saw it right there. He has a really good sidekick. He's so fast at doing that technique, and there is no tell when he attempts that certain strike. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Lee. Do not back up. Let's go forward now. Just over three minutes to go now. Effective with the jab. Oh, nice little right hook there. Lee gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, Hi, grab a wrestler. I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Oh, nice defense. I thought that punch might get through. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Guess the single collar tie now. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that lead the dance. Oh, wow, how about the roundhouse kick? Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Good punch. Hold your ground. I need you to go forward. Oh, nice work with the knee there by Lee. He gets to the single collar tie. We look for him to now start to find uppercuts up the middle to try to do damage to his opponent. Oh, good work with the jab there. Looking to land the leg kick now. Right hand, yup. Well, now these kicks are really starting to pile up since he found his range. This could be trouble. Oh, nice takedown defense. Good exchange there inside. Look at the turtle in that kick. 
With one minute to go in the round. Oh, huge Superman punch. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this guy. It's a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combinations with the kick. Big kick lands. Oh, he's on wobbly legs now. Big right hand there. So under 30 seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. Landed that one. Ten seconds, Ten seconds now to go in the round. Lee going for the leg oh, kick. God. Nothing doing there. Round two is next. Ready to fight? Ready. Here we are, early round two. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're gonna lead the dance as we go forward. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Lands a shot to the leg. Trying to establish that jab once again. Good eyes to not take that shot. Trying to kick the leg out. Lee gets caught by that flush straight punch. Nice job by the offense there. Perfect execution on that team. Just missed with the left there. Good jab there by the champion. Tremendous head kick there for this guy. Oh, a huge block there. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the bargain. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. Lands a good series of kicks here. Straight punch lands. They're so evenly matched, and they're going tit for tat. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here, and starting to find himself in the pocket. He's got that jab working nicely done. Well, now you see some visible damage. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, big left. He's giving him so many different things right now. That shot is blocked by Lee. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fight. Oh! He's hurt now. Oh, 
looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Lee's kick to the body here. That one appeared to be blocked. 90 seconds now to go in round two. Straight punch is true. Well-placed kick there by Lee. Well, you got to think he's going to enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes, and really a guy who has been a monster in the gym finally putting it together here in the octagon. To go home and admire your work, it doesn't take till the next morning. He's going back to the room huh. right now and firing up the video to look at beauty in action, and he was the one causing all the action. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give it more of an advantage on the mat? All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to wear on his opponent by pulling the head down and punching with the free hand. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. He closes the distance beautifully. He's got a single collar tie. Final seconds here. Oh. Ten minutes oh. in the books. All right, take a seat. Deep breath, man. Breathe. Take a drink. All right, here we go. Listen, you're doing absolutely awesome. I want you to punch. You. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. You ready? You ready? Go. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. You expect somebody to get ahead, but they've both been so evenly matched. We're still right where we started. Oh, the roundhouse kick lands. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Man, his body not looking too good right now. It's not quite Dominic Reyes against Jan Bohovic, but these body strikes really starting out. Nice jab by Lee. Well, mixing it up beautifully tonight. Now he touches him with the left. Now they separate. Just misses with that one. Oh, misses with the jab. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Nice, solid punch to him. Able to check that kick as well. Keep moving forward. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Oh, headshot bang as the high kick lands. Under three minutes to go in our third round. Can't take many of those, you better check. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from throwing this kick over and over again. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. 
And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. Hands high, hands high. Oh. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Push kick there to the body. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, solid kicks are landing. He has most certainly found the range on the feet. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Oh, that is a nasty inside leg kick, DC. It is a great technique, but it only takes one time to check it. Right. And your night can be over. Or you can end up like Anderson Silva. Be careful. Got an issue? Here's a tissue. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Nice combination on the feet, and now works it to a takedown. He passes the half. Posture's up. Oh, and he lands a brutal strike to the head. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. All right, so yet another ground and pound strike lands right there, DC. He's getting very active now that he knows he can land these strikes. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Left hook, yep. There's another one. He gets to a spot, the tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knees fly. He lands a nasty high kick up top. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Back to the leg kick now, that one's no good. That's three rounds, we're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, you're doing great, okay? I want more of the same. You are controlling the entire fight. Stay sharp, don't get relaxed. So wherever we're at, we're still working. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are gonna be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. You ready to fight? Ready. ready. All right, here's round four, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you gotta change it up. You have to mix things up, because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this often. It's a 15 minute fight, so you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go that extra 10 minutes. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Let's get busy with those hands now, man. Come on, let him go. Lands the right hand over the top. If this guy doesn't move his head, his night is about to end. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Lee. Leg kick is there. Nice uppercut by the champion. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Gets in close and gets that single collar tie locked in tight. Let's go. Keep moving forward now. Don't back 
Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Lee's got a nasty bruise, Daniel. You see it appearing there on the left side. You gotta think all of that body investment by his opponent is gonna pay large dividends as this fight continues. Push kick there to the body. Cardio looks great. He's still bouncing, he's still moving. He's still real confident. He's trying to set a trap here before he can engage and really spring in there with a couple big strikes. Leading now, nasty cut on his nose. Missed on the right hand. Back and forth we go. Just over two minutes to go. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. So the fighter limping now as a result of all those leg kicks. We'll see if he can make some adjustments. He's got to make some adjustments. And checking the kick right now is not going to work. It's too late. This guy should have addressed this early. But now he's going to have to tough it out and get through this. Nice. Nicely done. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's going to have some... About the accuracy to land right there. His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. What a fight. What a display of physical and mental toughness on both sides. I'm not sure who's more injured, but they're both hurting for sure. Yeah, John, they're both beat up. But I think that is the key. The mental is what's going to allow you to get your hand raised in this fight. This will not be easy. You're going to have to go to some dark places whenever you're in front of a guy that is as good as you in every aspect of fighting. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Lee gets touched by that leg kick attempt. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Well, that strike landed cleanly. Final seconds of round four. Oh, just a nasty leg kick. That one hurt. That's hard to watch. I mean, he is throwing those kicks with evil intent. He is trying to break his leg with every single kick. Oh. 20 down, five to go. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, 60 seconds between rounds. That gives us a chance to look at some of the replays from that previous round, including some of the damage sustained on his nose. Yeah, it was a, it was a nice shot that landed that opened up that cut on the nose. Granted, any cut is bad, but this one is in a spot where it shouldn't affect him too much. What we have to watch, though, John, is if the nose is broken. Right. Then it's hard for him to breathe. Yeah, get the blood in that nasal cavity, potentially trickles down the throat a little bit. I mean, fighting just sounds like a really fun <laughs> career. Well, let's get to the next round. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, kick to the head. That can't feel good. He lands a switch kick there. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Big head kick. 
Straight punch is good. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, inside kick. Just misses with the straight right. How does he even put any weight on that leg? Look at the bruise on the outside of his thigh. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. Real nice body kick lands. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Lead kick landed there by Lee. Another leg kick landed. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got to go forward. He's got to just throw everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that kick that's going to end the fight. There is no time for strategy anymore. Unable to connect with a right hook. Try to establish that jab. He's got that single collar tie. Oh, the hook lands. Two minutes now to go in this one. Heavy kick downstairs. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Devastated body kick lands. He lands another punch to the head. Oh, nice. Nice job by him defensively there. Hook in the clinch there by Lee. He follows up with another one. Campbell inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well, at this point, it seems as though it is toughness that is carrying him through. His thigh is mangled. I'm not sure how much he can take. He, he won't be able to take much more, J.A. This fight's pretty much over. I understand that he's going to switch his stance, but then he'll switch back. I understand that he's going to try and defend, but it's too late. Everything that lands from this point forward is going to be so damaging that it will ultimately lead to this fight being finished. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. Lands to the body there. Go. You can do this. Keep going forward. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. And he lands that sidekick. Dig and kick. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Time winding down, final seconds of the fight. <laughs> we'll see how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 50-45, 49-46, and 50-45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon.